You're watching Morris Cirillo's Victory Today, a special Legacy Classic presentation. Morris Cirillo is an apostle and prophet of God, sent to the nations to proclaim a message of faith, power, and total victory over Satan and the powers of darkness. And let it be known to the nations of the world, God's victorious army will continue until Jesus returns. On today's program, as Morris and Teresa Cirillo celebrate their 66th wedding anniversary, they have joined together to share very special insight into the blessings and challenges of marriage. Morris Cirillo met Teresa LaPerry at Bible school. On July 28, 1951, they were married, and soon this young couple answered God's call to go out into all of the world and help save souls for the kingdom. 66 years later, they have stood with God, having enjoyed the blessings of a miraculous proof-producing ministry, children and grandchildren, having made it through the challenges of lost loved ones, life-threatening illnesses, and heartbreak. Now, get ready as Morris and Teresa take time to share some advice, offer encouragement that God loves you and that His promises will help you cope and conquer the challenges you may face with marriage. Partners and friends, I greet you today in the name that is above every name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Are we in for a marvelous blessing today? Very special time on the program is my grandson, hey, Pop. Michael Cirillo, who, as you know, uh, brings to you the mentorship moments. And wow, look who we have here with us on the program. Mama, wow, this is a rare occasion for you to be on the television program with Papa. And welcome. What is a special occasion? Well, let me tell you, in just a few days, we are going to celebrate our 66, now don't fall off the chair, 66 wedding anniversary. We've been married for 66 years. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we can't call them all wonderful. No. Why? Well, life is, just happens. Life is not fair. And whatever comes into our pathway is something that by the grace of God we're able to handle for 66 years now. Well, you know, our grandson uh, has moved here to uh, the California a long time ago. How many years now? I've been back six years now. About six yeah. years. And so he has had... Uh, a first-hand opportunity of being with us quite a bit mm -hmm. and seeing us interact with each other. And uh, on this wedding anniversary, yeah. uh, Michael, uh, you're not married yet. I'm not, no. And so we <laughs> need to send the call out uh -oh. all over the television audience <laughs> and the social media audience. Wow. You, you got an opportunity now. You better act on it quickly. <laughs> but you tell me a little bit about what you a, have experienced yeah. and uh, uh, with your with your grandma. Oh, definitely. Well, I'm so excited to be with you guys today. Uh, 66 years of marriage. Wow. And uh, I just wanted to take this opportunity to hear from you guys. And I know spending time with you every week, just seeing your marriage together and seeing how much you love each other. And seeing how um, how you treat each other, you still laugh together, you still play together, pray. And we still to, cry together. Still cry together. <laughs> and I've just been so blessed to see your marriage as an example for how I would want to form um, my marriage when I get married in the future. Oh, I'm so proud to hear him say that. Yes. Yeah. That's a blessing that you cannot well, I evaluate. I think one of the problems today in the world, as you know, there's so many divorces going on right. and so many people 
not even getting married because they can't get along together so they don't trust a relationship that they have to commit to. The, the problem is that people feel like everything has to be perfect or they're not going to put up with it. Yeah. So if it doesn't go right in their eyesight, oh, they walk away from it. But that's not life. Life happens and you have to learn to go with it. Allow yourself to feel the presence of God that directs your life and gives you peace in the middle of your turmoil. I mean, everybody has misunderstandings in life. Every couple has a misunderstanding, sometimes pretty rough. But you get over it. You don't say, I'm going to walk off and leave because you don't grow in that manner. We learn how... By our mistakes. Yes, we learn by our mistakes right. that they cause us to grow, but we also uh, deal with the circumstances. Right. We learn how to cope, and we, like you say, sweetheart, we don't run away from the problems, but we face those problems, and... One of the most important things in a marriage is you know that this marriage has been born of God. Michael, I'm thinking about you, how you are, how young now? 33. 33. And you've had many opportunities with some very fine young ladies, but what's the reason why you haven't embraced marriage at this particular time? That's a good question. Um, I would say probably no, uh, finding a good godly woman that I also get along with really well. A lot of times I'll find someone I get along with really well, but then they're not a Christian, or they're a Christian, but then I not, you know, don't have the chemistry with them. So finding that woman that loves God and also that we enjoy our time together, um, I would say that's... Well, that's getting down to the root of why I asked the question to Michael, and that is you have to know that the persons that you are being attracted to, uh, men and women together, you each have to know that God has chosen this partner for you. And that's what helps you to go through the trials. That's what helps you to go through the situations and the circumstances. Life. life right. Where you would just run away and say, that's it. Right. You know, but that knowledge... And like Michael, he's not going to get married just to anybody right. or because he has a good time with that person. But he's looking for that one that he feels an assurance right. that this is God's choice for my life. But, you know, there's the other side of the coin. Yes. I'll, I'll take the opposite side. There are people that get married and they believe it's the will of God. But through some circumstance, they find out that they can't cope with each other. They're both Christians, they love the Lord, but they can't cope, so they get divorced. And then they feel like, well, God doesn't deal with them anymore like they were praising him, loving him, serving him together. Now they've breached their commitment before God and they feel guilty. But you know, the Lord also has grace and mercy and he forgives that person because there is so much we can do in our natural self. We, we have the spirit of the Lord living within us, but there are times when two people cannot in themselves be able to put up with the situation. But God has mercy, and God gives the ability to look each other in the face and say, well, we've tried, but God will walk with us in our ways. 
Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I've known people that have come to me crying because they were told you can't ever have the blessing of the Lord in your life once you're divorced. That isn't correct. God says if you live at peace, but if you can't, then separate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I so. want to... That's a good word, Grandma. I wanted to ask you, too, and, and being married 66 years, what are some of the successes, uh, keys that you could point to to say the, this is what makes a healthy, long-lasting marriage? I know you mentioned coping. as Negotiate, negotiate. with a strong man and <laughs> yeah. <a> strong woman. <laughs> what are some other things that you can say that really bring life to a marriage? And I know family is a big part of, um, you know, our family, we were very close and knit together. Well, some of the difficulty, I think, if I can use that word, in our marriage, if we ever had a misunderstanding in this circumstance, is work, 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 more work. You're away preaching. You're gone sometimes without me. Then you come home, and there's more work, and you work many hours at home till there's no time for family, there's no time for each other, there's no time to do some of the important things of life that need to be handled, and that can cause misunderstanding. So you have to be patient and practice learning to cope with those difficult situations. And they are difficult. So but what, what, what kind of, a, there's people that are watching us right now, and we really need about three or four programs that we're talking about. And we'll come back with other programs. But I want to ask you, uh, what, before we pray, would you like us to pray for you today? Would you like us to ask God to heal your marriage? Maybe it's with husband and wife. Maybe it's with mother and father and children. We just had an experience with somebody very close to us. And I won't mention uh, names and things, of course not. But the young man got caught up in marijuana. Well, maybe you have a son. Maybe you have a daughter that is turning towards elements that are causing frustration in your life as a mother and father. Would you like us to pray for you? We're going to do that in just a moment. Remember, this is a special program. When I started the program, I told you how special it was. You know why? We're celebrating Mama and I are 66 wedding anniversary. July 28th, we will be married 66 years. Honey, you know, because there's such an anointing on your life to minister to families, I want to ask you, if you'll pray, and Michael and I will agree with you together that as you pray for healing, you know, I don't know if there is any time that God and his presence cannot heal anything. So, but before you pray that prayer, I was going to ask you a question. What would you recommend to people under the circumstances? Because we, we know that that's one of the challenges that you have in your life. Right. With the environment that, that God has called us to. I remember before we got married, I looked at Mama and I put my finger in her face. Like he still does. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to her, I said, you know, I have a call of God on my life. And I am, if you marry me, there'll be times I will be away from home. 
for long periods of time because I'll be preaching in the nations of the world. And she looked at me, I will never forget. And she pointed her finger back at me and she said, don't you ever forget it. I too have the call of God on my life. You see? And I think, you know, after explaining that situation, we need to know that people need to understand each other's weaknesses and strengths. Yes. That's a very important issue to think about. In your marriage, you have to learn to give and to take. And sometimes that takes a lot of patience, but the reward is great. You know, I, I have some special material that my announcer is going to come and going to offer to you. And I'm going to ask you today if you will consecrate a special anniversary offering to Teresa and myself and to Michael. I remember, Michael, when you were born. Yeah. I was down in Sao Paulo, Brazil, right. yeah. preaching to, I don't know, I think maybe 50, 60,000 people. And we uh, put the program into the hospital, the hospital room. <laughs> you were born <laughs> under the... I got to the, see you preaching when I was born. <laughs> under the preaching. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Well, I have material that God has given to me for successful marriages. It's given to me special material, special insight, so that I can be able to help heal the circumstances that you may be facing in your life that are very difficult. And my announcer will come. I was going to say to you, I want you to consecrate a special anniversary offering. Would you do that? Maybe some of you will just send $6, some of you 16 some of you 66 But you send, not to Mars, not to Teresa, not to Michael, but you send it to the ministry in care, Brother Cirilla. You send that offering and say, I want to celebrate your anniversary. I want to celebrate 66 years. What a testimony for the glory of God. And Brother Srila, I want to sow a special anniversary gift to help you and Mama keep going to the nations of the world. Before this year is over, we will be in Costa Rica. We will be in Nicaragua. We will be in uh, Peru. We will be in Ecuador. And then we will be over into Africa, into Ghana, and we will be into Nigeria, and we will be into Nairobi, and then we will be into Israel. And then from there, we will be in India. And then from India, we will be into uh, uh, Malaysia, and we will be into Indonesia, the largest Muslim nation in the world for a nationwide school of ministry where we'll bring all of the national leaders together. And for three days, I will impart into them the anointing and the breakthrough word of the living God that will equip them to be able to face the enemy in their nations and build the kingdom of God. So that's what your offering is all about. So dedicate, join with me. Let me know that you love God's servants. Let me know that you love this ministry. 
let me know that you are with us to build God an army so desperately needed. I cannot continue to go into all these nations and spend my entire few years that God has given to me left on this earth. We've got to raise up the national so that they will, under the anointing of God, minister and break through the powers of the enemy in their nation. I want to thank you in advance for celebrating with Teresa and I and Michael, celebrating our 66th anniversary by a special gift of love to help us continue to go to the less fortunate peoples of the world. Mama, you going to pray as we leave the program today? Certainly. Heavenly Father, we rejoice to call upon your name today, knowing that your love is so great toward all of your children. We thank you tonight, knowing that your eyes are never closed, your ears are never unable to hear our prayer. You are always listening and wanting to give us not only the needs that we represent in our life, the desires of our heart as well. Father, there are many families that are watching this program. There are those who have family relation needs. They somehow cannot get along with one another for different types of reasons. But Lord, you understand their need. And we come before your presence today in the name of Jesus. We ask you to stretch forth your hand, touch their lives, minister to their needs, and help them by your grace to look up into your face and receive the peace and the joy that you can give by obeying your word and living before you as you have asked us to do in your word. We pray for divorced people today. We pray for family relationships between husbands and wives today. We ask, Lord, these are difficult days. They are difficult circumstances that we face today. Financial problems that are overwhelming. Oh, Father, we are your children and you created us in your image, flowing with your spirit within our lives to give us the strength to walk in your footsteps. So Lord, today I Amen. pray, touch these people, whatever need Amen. they have Amen. right now, let your grace be sufficient for them to be willing to forgive, to be willing to forget, to be willing to be understanding one to the other. In the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that you would bless them, meet their needs, and help them to rise up as your children to obey you in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, amen. and everybody said amen. amen right there in your home. Remember, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He is right there with your home and he has heard mama's prayer and you have received his blessing today. God bless. Please join with partners and friends from around the world and celebrate the remarkable 66th wedding anniversary of Morris and Teresa Cirillo. When you sow an anniversary love gift of any amount, we will send you a most encouraging and helpful ministry resource. It's Morris and Teresa Cirillo's Breaking Satan's Conspiracy Against Your Family. In this book, you'll learn seven steps on how to build a powerful spiritual wall of defense around your marriage and family. Learn how to cope when your marriage is under attack. How to discover Satan's strategies that target marriage and family. Plus, there's a special children's section to help your children combat the enemy. Since this book was originally published, family violence and marital breakdown statistics have surged. You need this resource today. Please call the toll-free number on the screen. 
visit our website, or send your love gift of any amount to the address on the screen. For those who feel a special touch on your heart, we encourage you to sow a love gift into the ministry of $66 or more to celebrate Morris and Teresa's most remarkable milestone of 66 years of marriage. When you do, we will send you a World Evangelism bonus DVD of Family Foundation's international founder, Pastor Craig Hill. In it, he delivers a powerful marriage message recorded live at a Morris Cirilla World Conference. One of the reasons there's such an incredible attack against marriage is because marriage is not just a nice convenience. It's not just two people making an agreement to live together. It's not a formality you have to go through before you get to sleep with each other. What marriage actually is, is the prophetic picture on planet Earth of how Jesus Christ treats his bride. Sow your special anniversary love gift of any amount into the ministry and receive Morris and Teresa's precious marriage and family resource, Breaking Satan's Conspiracy Against Your Family. And when you celebrate Morris and Teresa's 66th wedding anniversary with a special love gift of $66 or more, we will send you the book plus the bonus DVD of Pastor Craig Hill's powerful message on marriage. Don't hesitate. Call the toll-free number. Visit the website or send your love gift to the address on the screen. This is your time to protect and defend your marriage and family against the enemy. Call now. Are you ready to receive God's commanded blessing and a new anointing upon your life? Then make plans to attend Mara Cirillo's Worldwide School of Ministry in Chicago. Yes, you are called to be a proof producer, anointed with spiritual eyesight, Come, receive your mantle and unlock power, prosperity, blessing, and miracles. Joining Mara Cirillo is Apostle Ayo Aritzajafor, Senior Pastor of the 30,000-member Word of Life Bible Church in Nigeria. Be inspired by a creative message from Steve Muncy, Senior Pastor, Family Christian Center in Munster, Indiana. Miles McPherson, former NFL football player and pastor of the Rock Church in San Diego, California. And Reverend Vernon Fernandez of Agape World Ministries in Tanzania. Senior pastor Dr. Ashish Thomas of the Dubai City Church. And John Francis, founder of the Ruach City Church in the UK. It's time to experience your divine destiny. Enjoy praise and worship with such anointed artists as Kevin Wade, Noel Robinson, Emil Bridges, Earl Harrigan, Cindy Murdoch, LaDonna Taylor, and special guest pianist Huntley Brown. Register now. Mara Cirillo School of Ministry at the Hyatt Regency O'Hare in Chicago. Labor Day weekend, September 1 through September 4th. Go to mcwe.com for all of the details, including complete list of speakers, accommodations, and more. Register now and prepare for a life-changing manifestation of miracles.